Hello friends, welcome you all in IIT PAL Biomolecule fifth session of class 11th NCRT biology book. I BP Sa PGT Bio Kendra Vidyalaya Kesapuram. Before going to my actual today's lesson, I have asked some questions in my last lecture of biomolecules that is related to nucleic acid and lipids. These are the questions. The my first question was what are polyunsaturates? Second one question a lipid molecules contain dash molecules of fatty acids. My third question was a purine with an amine group that is NH2 group on sixth position of carbon is called. Now, fourth question was a nucleotide consists of dash, dash and dash because nucleotide consists of three molecule which one molecules form the nucleotide. Now, the last question that is the fifth question the glycosidic bond in DNA and RNA connect which one dash and dash. The first answer of question first what are polyunsaturates? The polyunsaturates that means unsaturated fatty acid which have double bond in their fatty acid when this double bond are present in two or three or more carbon atom that is called polyunsaturates. So, answer is polyunsaturates are fatty acid having more than one double bond. Now, my second question was a lipid molecule contain dash molecules of fatty acid. Here I mean a simple lipid that means triglyceride. The simple lipid means those lipid which are made by simple way that is one glycerol molecule combine how much fatty acid that form the triglyceride. So, here the answer is because the glycerol molecules have four OH group sorry three OH group. So, the three molecules of fatty acid combined to form triglyceride. So, that one is the simplest fat which is made by three fatty acid and one glycerol molecule. Now, my third question was a purine with an amine that is the NH 2 group on sixth carbon is I have already discussed in my nucleic acid chapter the purine which is made by two ring structure. In that cases this two ring structure the example of purine are adenine and guanine. We have already discussed about the chemical name of adenine and chemical name of guanine. If you remember what is the chemical name of adenine you can easily answer this question that is the chemical name of adenine is 6 amino purine. So, in this cases at 6 carbon position the amino group are present. So, the answer will be adenine which is a type of purine. Now, my fourth question was a nucleotide consists of dash and dash and dash. Nucleotide as the term indicate it is made by three molecule. These three molecules are which help in the formation of DNA. These three molecules are a sugar, a base that means the nitrogenous base and a phosphate. We have learnt already in sugar, sugar is pentose sugar that is ribose and deoxyribose nitrogenous base here either 
purine or pyrimidine and phosphate we have already discussed that is phosphoric acid. So, the nucleotide consists of sugar, nitrogenous base and phosphate. Removal of phosphate group that form nucleoside. So, this is the basic difference between the nucleoside and the nucleotide. In nucleotide all three nitrogenous base, sugar and phosphate are present. When we remove the phosphate group from the nucleotide that will form nucleoside. Now, my last question was the glycosidic bond in DNA and RNA connect. In DNA and RNA we have seen in my last lecture the structure of DNA which is made by sugar, phosphate which form the backbone of the DNA and the adenine and guanine, thymine and cytosine form the with the help of hydrogen bond they unite and form the ladder like sequence. So, the in DNA and RNA formation there will be the three types of bonds are present that is phosphodiester bond, glycosidic bond and hydrogen bond. So, the glycosidic bond are present in between the sugar and the nitrogenous base. So, I hope with this question you are you all are able to answer the entire question related with the nucleic acid, lipid, protein and fat. Now, let us start the first uh, fifth session of biomolecule that is related with the enzyme. So, enzyme are very important molecule enzyme in biological world because all the biochemical reaction inside the cell governed with the help of enzyme. So, enzyme are very important molecules. Enzymes are proteins that acts as a biocatalyst. You know the term catalyst in chemistry catalyst which accelerate the rate of reaction. Here prefix bio along with the catalyst that means, it acts as a bio catalyst. It also accelerating the chemical reaction, but not itself modified in the process. So, enzyme are molecules which are proteinous in nature mainly beside the protein there are non protein part is also present in the enzyme we will discuss later on, but at the time of chemical reaction enzyme is not going to be used. So, it accelerates the reaction and it helps in the formation of product without using up. So, the fresh enzyme again used for the fresh chemical reaction. So, enzyme are generally proteinous in nature, it accelerates the rate of reaction. The study of enzyme, its properties, properties and action of enzyme is known as enzymology. So, enzymology is a separate branch that help to study the properties and the action of enzyme. Now, a protein with catalytic properties due to its power of specific activation. Now, the next one is discovery of enzyme. There is a different history related with the discovery of enzyme which is very important. Discovery of enzyme The word enzyme the word enzyme is coined by Willy Kohn in 1878. It is derived from the Greek word that means, in E n and the next word is zyme. 
in means in and jaim means east. So, in jaim is derived from the Greek word Greek word in and jaim that means in east. The next scientist after the Willy Kuhn was J. J. Bergelius. In 1853, before the term enzyme was given, the J. J. Bergelius first predict existence of biological catalyst as enzyme. J. J. Bergelius predict the existence of biological catalyst so first prediction of enzyme as a biocatalyst was given by j j bergelius in 1853 now the discovery of enzyme is an accidental process. It was 1897, Edward Buchner a German chemist a German chemist and Nobel Prize winner in 1907 while preparing yeast extract for a medicinal purpose. He noticed that its yeast extract going to be spoiled. Edward Buchner worked on yeast extract this is the yeast extract he is working with yeast extract for medicinal purpose. And found that this yeast extract going to be spoiled. Later on he found that the reason of spoilage he is going to add certain amount of sugar in his extract which is going to be spoiled. He found that after adding his extract with sugar he found that alcohol was produced. And find that this is extract contain zimase. Which is responsible for the conversion of hexose breakdown this hexose molecules which are present in sugar that is going to be break down and formation of alcohol. As we have seen in case of fermentation in my respiration chapter. The chemistry of enzyme, so this is the discovery of Edward Buchner in Nobel laureate that enzyme help in the conversion of the sugar into the alcohol. Now, the chemistry of enzyme first time in 1926 
was given by J. P. Sumner. from the enzyme urease. He obtained this enzyme from the extract of jack bean and found the chemistry of enzyme mainly the enzymes are very large molecules which is made by protein. After that Sumner, it was established that enzymes are very complex molecules. Very complex molecule it is a folded polypeptide and its structure differ structure differ in number and sequence of amino acid because we know that enzymes are proteinous in nature so it depend upon the how many number help in the formation of amino acid um, uh, enzymes and their number and the sequence because on the basis of different type of amino acid and their sequence there are different types of proteins are there that is primary structure of protein secondary structure tertiary structure and quaternary structure on that basis sequences basis the enzyme has been different one from the another just like the enzyme are very large molecules, it has high molecular weight. The molecular of weight of enzyme ranges from just for example, one example 35,000 Dalton for pepsin and 4,83,000 Dalton for urease. So, its molecular weight different from variety of range and generally the enzyme consists of proteins. Besides the protein, there are, there are different types of other non protein part is also available also found in the various type of enzyme. So, this enzyme which are protein in nature we know that this protein is for with the help of DNA. How this protein or the enzyme is for that is DNA we have discussed in my nucleic acid chapter this DNA first of all it for messenger RNA. This process you will discuss in class 12th NCRT book in chapter molecular biology, molecular basis of genetics. The DNA converted into messenger RNA, this process is called transcription. And this messenger RNA which is abbreviated by codes that code is called genetic code you will learn genetic code in class 12th. Now, this messenger RNA it converted or it for protein or enzymes. So, for the formation of enzyme DNA is directly involved DNA for messenger RNA and messenger RNA that involved in the formation of protein or the enzyme because enzymes are proteinous in nature conversion of messenger RNA into the protein that process is called translation. So, this 
So, enzymes are formed with the help of transcription and the translation. Now, different types of enzymes are there are mainly various types of enzymes are there mainly two types two types of enzyme these two types are firstly simple protein enzyme or conjugated enzyme conjugated it is also called holo enzyme the simple protein enzyme it consists of only proteins if enzyme are made only amino acid or only protein that type of enzyme is called simple protein enzyme. Example of simple protein enzymes are urease, amylase, trypsin, pepsin. These are the simple protein enzyme that are, that are chiefly protein in nature. Beside the proteinous substance we have already discussed the non protein part is also available. So, if the enzymes are made by both protein part and non protein part that enzyme is called conjugated enzyme or it is also called Holo enzyme. The conjugated enzyme are made by protein part and the non protein part. The protein part of enzyme is called apoenzyme and the non protein part is called prosthetic group. So, we can write the protein part of conjugated enzyme is called apoenzyme and the non protein part is called prosthetic group. The this prosthetic group or the non protein part it may be organic compound or it may be inorganic compound. Now, one by one the cofactors. This cofactor it will be, be simple metal ions like C U plus plus F E plus plus K plus C A plus plus etcetera. Now, coenzyme examples of coenzyme coenzymes are if the prosthetic group are complex organic complex organic molecule examples are we have already known nad nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide atp adenosine triphosphate coenzyme a fad etc flavin adenine dinucleotide now we can simplify this with the help of this structural diagram so if the enzymes this is the enzyme are very large molecule here is vacant 
if the uh, this part this part is made by protein so that is called apoenzyme when it combined with prosthetic group suppose this is the prosthetic group either this one will be metal or the inorganic molecule when this prosthetic group it combine with enzyme now the structure of this type so this is the structure now you can easily recognize this one is the protein part and this one is the non protein part this one part is the protein and this one part is non protein when it is going to be combined it form whole enzyme so hello whole enzyme consist of apoenzyme plus prosthetic group so with the help of this diagram i hope you can easily understand which one is the part of the protein which one is the part of the non protein part now after the structure of enzyme then nomenclature of enzyme nomenclature of enzyme how enzyme can be named so in each and every enzyme you may find generally ase is going to be added at the end of substrate or at the end of reaction according to iub that is certain principle is going to be adapted for naming the enzyme one of the principle that was given by dow collex in 1883 that gave the first preference so the according to iub suffix ase to the main word that means root word of substrate this ase going to be added after name the substrate after substrate now the example you can easily understand like sucrage like lipase like proteinase like nuclease these are the enzyme named after the substrate each, each and every enzyme you will find ase 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 so at the end of the substrate sucrase acted over the substrate is called sucrose that are made by we have already learned glucose plus fructose so sucrose sucrase help into the breakdown of sucrose into glucose and fructose so the enzyme help in the breaking down the chemical reaction that help in the absorption also now lipase as the term indicate it acted over the lipid we have seen already seen at the time of formation of triglyceride the three molecule of fatty acid combined with the one molecule of glycerol with the help of this enzyme lipase and the ester bond is formed proteinase act over the 
protein nucleate act over the nucleic acid so at the time of naming of the nomenclature of enzyme suffix ase at the end of the substrate now the second point or very important point in the naming of enzyme that is second one suffix ase to the kind of reaction kind of reaction named after chemical reaction after chemical reaction name they catalyze like examples you can easily understand like oxidase so what type of reaction is going in oxidase very good that is oxidation when the enzyme help in oxidation that enzyme is called oxidase enzyme next one polymerase what type of reaction is going on that is polymerization so suffix ase to the kind of reaction this ase named at the end of chemical reaction oxidation oxidase polymerization polymerase now the recently more recently according to the iub a new method of naming of enzyme has been adopted that is this enzyme new method has been adopted it has two part you can see the above two part when going to be combined that for the recent name of enzyme these two parts are first part part first indicate substrate part second indicate reaction it means when we combine both first and second part then the name of enzyme we can named it just for example succenic dehydrogenase here the first part is succenic it means in the succenic acid the substrate is succenic acid in succenic acid dehydrogenation reaction takes place then the enzyme involved is succenic dehydrogenase just for example the you can easily write the chemical structure of succenic acid that is ch2 ch2 cooh that is succenic acid when it combined with the now it for cooh ch double bond cooh here the succenic acid acid is converted into fumaric acid we have seen this reaction in krebs cycle where the succenic acid converted into fumaric acid and here the hydrogen acceptor and the enzyme involved in this case are succenic dehydrogenase because in this cases this hydrogen molecule 2h molecule is liberated from the succenic acid then there is the formation of fumaric acid so in this cases succenic acid is involved and 
hydrogen dehydrogenation reaction takes place. So, the enzyme named in the modern cases of the enzyme the name after the substrate and the reaction then AS is going to be added. So, beside this there are certain exception. These exceptions are pepsin, trypsin, tylene. Now, it is known as salivary amylase. There is a practical related with the salivary amylase in your syllabus action of salivary amylase on the starch with the help of different temperature, different pH and various type of action on the salivary amylase. The tylene, the older name, next one papine, it came from papaya, bromelain from bromelaceae family that include pineapple family. bromeliaceae. So, these are the older name it is already in our day to life use. So, its name has been same as the older one. Now, so these are the different types of chemical nature of enzyme as well as the nomenclature of enzyme. Classification of enzyme. According to IUB, in 1961, this commission decided the name and classify the enzyme. As for the enzyme nomenclature recommended, the commission has suggested six main division of enzyme. Six main division of enzyme. These main divisions are these main divisions are oxido reductase. It means here oxidation and reduction is going on. Next one transferase. It means here the transfer of group of atom. The third one hydrolases where hydrolysis takes place, lyses that means add and remove the atom to and to or from the double bond, isomerase rearrange the atom, lyses re that is the combine the molecules. So, these are the six type of classification of enzyme on the basis of IUB. One by one that is oxido reductase, oxido reductase. In this cases oxidation and reduction is going on. Examples are phosphoglyceraldehyde. dehydrogenase and cytochrome oxidase. In this case it is dehydrogenation reaction and oxidation reaction both takes place with the help of this enzyme. So, this enzyme categorized under the oxido reductase. The these are of three type, one is oxidase, another is dehydrogenase, third one reductase. So, these are the three enzymes group which came under the oxido reductase. Now, next one is transferase. In transferase, there will be the transfer of group or atom. You will see here, I have already discussed this reaction of the transferase. 
in this case is transfer of group or atom here you glutamic acid this one is the glut oxaloacetic acid with the help of glutamate pyruvate transaminase here this group co group is transfer here and this amino group transfer here after the transfer of this amino group that glutamic acid form aspartic acid and oxaloacetic acid for alpha ketoglutaric acid so with the help of transfer of group or the atom one molecule changes into the other form one organic compound changes into the other form so trans transferage help in the transfer of groups or atoms from one molecule to the another molecule so next one the third one is hydrolyze that help in the hydrolysis here is the example hydrolysis are the splitting of large molecules into the smaller one by addition of water it breaks the specific covalent bond here the sucrose just i have given the example c12 h22 o11 when combined with the water with the help of sucrase it converted into glucose and fructose the fourth one example lysis this catalyzes the breakage of specific covalent bond and removal of group without hydrolysis this is the main point which different from the hydrolysis without hydrolysis takes place example aldolase decarboxylase we have seen both the enzyme in respiration chapter in case of fructose 16 diphosphate or that is called bisphosphate it is converted into dihydroxy stone phosphate and glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate the fructose 16 bisphosphate with the help of aldolase enzyme that will be converted into three carbon compound dihydroxy stone phosphate and three carbon compound that is glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate so fructose 16 bisphosphate is converted into two molecules of three carbon compound that is dihydroxy stone phosphate and glycerol dehyde 3 phosphate now the fourth one enzyme according to the iub that is isomerase in isomerase rearrange the atom molecule then form the same molecular formula same structure but slightly configuration is changed the sixth one is lysase now see the both the enzyme with the example isomerase this catalyzes the change of the substrate into the related isomeric form by the rearrangement of molecule to form the optical geometric and positional isomer here you can find glucose 6 phosphate in the second reaction of glycolysis where the glucose 6 phosphate converted into fructose 6 phosphate with the help of enzyme hexoiso phospho hexoisomerase here the glucose 6 phosphate formula c6h12o6 p here is the fructose have same formula but glucose is converted into fructose 6 phosphate with the help of isomerase enzyme that is phospho hexoisomerase the last one enzyme that is called lysase it combine the molecules this catalyze the joining of two substrate molecule by getting energy from the hydrolysis of atp this atp molecule is going to be break down because you know the atp has three phosphate group adenosine sugar and phosphate 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 this triple phosphate molecule this phosphate when remove it liberate energy that help in the combination of smaller compound into the bigger one here you can find the pyruvic acid at the time of uh, uh, respiration the pyruvate combined with carbon dioxide and atp it form oxaloacetic oxaloacetate adp and pie so with the help of here pyruvate carboxylase the it is a type of lysase it combined with pyruvate and carbon dioxide this pyruvate are three carbon compound here is one carbon it going to be combined with the help of energy then it form oxaloacetic acid 3 plus 1 that is four carbon compound oaa oxaloacetic acid is four now factor 
that affect the enzyme that is chemical reaction. Enzyme changes the rate of chemical reactions. How it is going to be changed? Chemical reaction need input of energy. Any chemical reaction when going to be combined just for example, I have seen the input of energy that is called activation energy. During this part of the reaction, the molecule is said to be in a transition state. Now, you can see here the this is the reactant when it going to start to form the product, it requires certain amount of energy. This energy is called active activation energy. When this activation energy is combined with the reactant, then it come in the transition state. Now, it means transition state. Now, reaction is going to be start after the transition state and finally, the product is formed. Here reaction coordinate, here the free energy. Now, with the help of enzyme, we can lowering down the activation energy. We can lower the activation energy. Biological system is very sensitive to the temperature change. Enzyme can increase the rate of reaction without increasing the temperature. They do this by lowering the activation energy. How this is going on? They create a new reaction pathway, a shortcut method. You can see here, you can combine with the, the first graph, here the activation energy. At the time of reaction going to be start, the activation, activation energy is this much, but when enzyme is included, now it formed the new path that is the new reaction pathway. Now, the activation energy is going to be lowered, here activation is lowered and the reaction is going on at the lower temperature. So, enzyme helps in the formation of new path for the reaction. So, enzyme can control reaction proceed 108 to 1011 times faster than the corresponding non enzymatic reaction. So, with the help of enzyme, enzyme can accelerate the reaction without using up on. The enzyme structure we have already discussed, it is proteinous, globular in shape, a complex 3D structure, example human pancreatic amylase. Now, the various types of factor that is responsible for the enzyme. Substrate, the substrate of an enzyme are the reactant that activated by the enzyme. Enzymes are specific to their substrate. Each enzyme is very, very specific in nature. They can choose in the substrate because it can combine with the specific type of substrate, then the enzyme substrate reaction is going on and product is formed. Now, the properties of enzyme specificity, enzymes are very specific in their action. That means, that they act on the particular substrate. That means, when the sucrose enzyme acted over the sucrose and maltase enzyme acted over the maltose. So, enzymes are very specific in nature amylase, urease, lactic dehydrogenase, they acted on the substrate. Now, with the help of this graph, you can easily understand when the substrate concentration is increases, then the rate of enzymatic reaction is going to be fast, because enzyme has several active sites for the substrate molecules. If all the substrate is going to be combined, at the enzyme, then the reaction will be going fast and the product will form. Here, the reaction shows that this reaction, this graph shows reaction without enzyme. With the help of enzyme, the velocity of enzyme, the rate of enzyme action is going to be fast at a particular point. And finally, it is going to be constant because the enzyme, all the enzyme active site going to be occupied by the substrate. So, this one point is known as velocity maximum V max. The 
this one is the half velocity max. So, Michaelis and Menten formulate the equation velocity is equal to velocity maximum into the substrate k m plus the substrate. The k m value can be obtained as that is the substrate V max divided by V minus m. Here k m is called Michaelis Menten constant. With the help of this graph, we can easily understand the rate of enzymatic reaction without enzyme and with the help of enzyme. Now, the factor like product also affect the enzymes. When we add direct product to the enzymatic reaction, the rate of reaction going to be decline here. You can see the with the help of this graph, when the product is directly going to be added, then the rate of reaction is declined from the maximum to lower one. Because enzyme combined with the substrate, it for enzyme substrate complex and the product. So, increase the concentration of product has an adverse effect on the rate of enzymatic reaction. So, the product concentration also affect the enzyme activity. Now, pH, the pH also have main role in the enzymatic action. The normal pH for the enzyme is 4 to 9, means slightly acidic to slightly basic. Here you see the in 4, when the pH is going to be increased, the enzymatic activity or the reaction is increased of the enzyme. But when it going to be more than 7, more than 8, the activity of enzyme going to be decreased. But all the enzyme does not follow this rule like pepsin work on 2 pH, sucrage work on 4.5 pH, salivary amylase 6.8 pH, maltase and urease 7, intestinal lipase 7.8, pancreatic lipase 9. So, these are the specific pH for the specific enzyme. Generally, the enzyme work 4 to 9 pH. Now, the next one effect of temperature. Temperature also play the important role in the formation of product. The normal temperature for the enzymatic activity is about 30 to 40 degree centigrade or 45 degree centigrade. When we go beyond to this temperature, the enzyme activity going to be denatured. So, you can find here the when temperature is going to be increased at 50, the enzyme activity is going to be declined. Because proteinous nature of enzyme, the enzymic activity becomes low or decline and the it affect the product of product formation. Now, this is the non enzymatic reaction you can see here non enzymatic reaction is straight way the reaction is going on it depend upon the substrate concentration and the catalytic factor. Enzyme substrate concentration we have already discussed. Now, the last one point that is inhibitors. Temperature, the degree of temperature and duration affect the enzyme activity. It is very important for most of the enzymatic reaction, rise of temperature 10 degree centigrade in the temperature that is called Q 10, double the rate of reaction, enzymatic reaction at about 5 to 40 degree centigrade. When we go beyond this 40 or 45 degree centigrade, we have seen in the previous graph the enzyme become denatured and enzyme activity when denatured the it affect the it adverse effect on the product formation. Enzyme being damaged above 50 degree centigrade and they are completely damaged 
above 60 degrees centigrade because of their proteinous in nature. Now, this is the this is the Q 10 when we increase the 10 degree centigrade the rate of enzymatic reaction becomes double up to 40 degree centigrade above the 40 degree centigrade the enzyme becomes denatured. This graph clearly shows the Q 10 figure the rising of 10 degree temperature it increases the rate of enzyme faster you can say just double. For most of the enzyme optimum temperature is about 30 degrees many are a lot lower cold water fish will die at 30 degree centigrade because their enzyme become denatured. This is a specific case a few bacteria have enzyme can withstand very high temperature up to 100 degree centigrade. Most of the enzyme however, fully denatured at 70 degree centigrade. Now, come to the main part or very very important part that is inhibitors. Inhibitors are the chemical compound which inhibit the chemical reactions. These inhibitors affect the enzyme activity. Now, these inhibitors are compound which convert the enzyme into inactive substance and thus adversely affect the rate of enzymatic reaction. This substance which inhibit the enzymatic reaction that are called inhibitors. Two general type of inhibitions are distinguished that is called competitive inhibitors or substrate analog inhibitor or non competitive inhibitors. The competitive inhibitors just like the it resembles with the substrate competitive inhibitors of an enzyme it occurs when the active site is occupied get blocked by an inhibitor substance. The inhibitors resembles closely with the structure of the substrate and get combined with the active site of the enzyme by mistake and for enzyme inhibitor complex. We have seen when the enzyme combined with the substrate that form the enzyme substrate con enzyme substrate complex, but when inhibitor are more stronger in comparison to the substrate it occupied the active site. When the active site is occupied by the inhibitor then substrate are not able to bind with the active site of the enzyme. So, it for enzyme inhibitor complex when the enzyme inhibitor complex is for there will be no question for the formation of product. So, active site of the enzyme by mistake and form the enzyme inhibitor complex which does not yield any type of product and the reaction is going to be stable. Excess of substrate cancer when we gave the excess amount of the substrate the inhibitor may be replaced excess of the substrate concentration dislog the inhibitor molecules making the enzyme active again. Generally the inhibitor occupy the active site of enzyme and it affect the product formation. You will see here the com competitive inhibition with the help of en enzyme with the help of this reaction. The Examples are inhibition of enzyme succinic dehydrogenase by malonic acid, competitive inhibitors for the succinic acid that is substrate. This we have already discussed the succinic acid when combined with the hydrogen acceptor with the help of enzyme succinic acid dehydrogenase, it converted into fumaric acid and one hydrogen acceptor is formed because this hydrogen is accepted by hydrogen acceptor and hydrogen acceptor is formed in this reaction. So, this is the normal reaction of uh, succinic acid hydrogen acceptor it forms fumaric acid and hydrogenated acceptor. When this succinic acid there is a same type of structure like malonic acid oxalic acid and glutaric acid. This three acts as a inhibitor it combined with the enzyme instead of succinic acid and then form malonic enzyme complex, oxaloistic enzyme complex, glutaric enzyme complex then 
there will be the no formation of any type of product. Many organic compound which are structurally related with the succinic acid that combine act as a inhibitor and that affect the product formation. So, competitive inhibition just like it resembles it analogs functionally analog to the substrate and it combine the main site of the enzyme activity that is the active site when active site is occupied by the inhibitor then substrate is far away from the enzyme. So, there is the formation of enzyme inhibitor complex that affect the product. So, inhibitor are the chemical that reduce the rate of enzymatic reaction even certain time it stop. They are usually specific and they work at low concentration, but substrate concentration is going to be high the it remove the inhibitors. They block the enzyme, but they do not usually destroy it. Many drugs and poisons are inhibitors of enzyme in the nervous system. With the help of this reaction enzyme inhibitor reversible reaction is there that form the enzyme inhibitor complex that affect the. So, with the help of this diagram you can clearly identify the substrate as well as the inhibitors. Here this one is the succinic acid, here this is the structure of COH group here, COH group here, COH group here that is called malonic acid. <coughs> this malonic acid it combined with the enzyme that for enzyme inhibitor complex and there will be the no product is formed. Now, come to the non competitive inhibitors. The non competitive inhibitors are those molecules which does not compete with the active site, but it affects the enzymatic reaction. So, we can the non competitive inhibitors the inhibitor and the substrate are not structurally related it bind with the enzyme some other site that is called allosteric site. Example cytochrome oxidase is inhibited by cyanide. The non competitive inhibition of an enzyme are irreversible addition of substrate does not restore the activity. Now, application of inhibitors it gives negative feedback it help in the poison like snake bite plant alkaloids and nerve gases. It used as a medicine like antibiotics sulfamides sedative and stimulate. Now, think about this question after the completion of enzyme what do you mean by activation energy? What is zymosine? What is lysage? Name the class of enzyme that is split large molecules into the smaller one. The class of enzyme contain lysosome each. So, now think over these questions and I hope you all will be able to answer all type of questions related to the biomolecules from carbohydrate up to the enzymes. Thank you.